So in the following of our tutorials, we want to set uh, some styles for our uh, application, which was adding the classmates. And uh, if you remember, we worked on updating, deleting, um, creating the database and all of this stuff about the application, which was called uh, the CRUD application. So here we can add different classmates. As you can see, I've added some styles to this application so that uh, you, it is much more beautiful and are also easier to work with. As you can see here, we had a classmate and we had a simple table without any navbar, horizontal navbar on the top. And we also had this classmate right here, but I've added some styles in order to, add, to change this. So the reason we've added this to the navbar is that uh, imagine we have a very long list of our classmates and we have to scroll down in order to add a new classmate. So I've added it to the top so that you can easier click on the button and go to the uh, page related to adding the classmates. We can also set some styles for here, but uh, here in order to make our tutorials shorter, I've just added these styles for the classmates page. You can add the other ones for the other pages as well. So here in the code, I'm going to show you what, how I did it. But before that, let's also omit these parts related to adding the classmates. So let's uh, get back to the code. And here, let us look at uh, our code. So I can easily omit this part, save this, and we won't have add member on the button. bottom. And as you can see here, we don't have it anymore. But here we have two, uh, two or three set of styles. One of them is the navbar. So we've created a list in our HTML and then we uh, connected those to our uh, styles about the navbar. So let me start with that part. So instead of our HTML index.html file, and what I've done here is to add some styles and also add some links related to those styles. I added the meta and then inside of our style for the body, I've created uh, a tag, but we, we don't necessarily uh, need to add this part. Also for H1, in order to set it in the center, our title in the center, I've uh, we, we used to have classmates right here on the left, but now it's in the center. And the reason it has been changed is this H1 right here. Also, uh, for the tables, which I'm going to get to that, we have some styles. But uh, let's get to our navbar. So the navbar starts from here and uh, it is about a list. So it is about unordered list tag, which is down here related to our navbar. So in the navbar, we have active, uh, we have our home, home, which is the main page related to our classmates. It can also have um, a reference. It, it, so you can add a link to this. This is classmates, right? classmates and it has double s okay so let me check urls.py to make sure that is fine uh, okay it's inside of our classmates our application urls and here we have classmates which is okay it is inside of here urls.py classmates there we go so probably we don't need to add anything because here in the urls we don't have that but anyway let guess let's get back to our index.html save this we do not necessarily need to put anything i can press ctrl z and we had when we don't have any link we can just put hashtag and then the name of whatever we want. Doesn't really matter, but I've set it to active because we are, once we're on this page, we want this home right here be active, right? So this is the main page. We don't need to write any reference for that, any URL for that. 
so we can put nothing. So let me try this and it should be fine. Let us try it. Okay. Let us add the classmate. Classmates actually, so press on the home. Nothing really happens, so we need to add the classmates. Okay. Classmates, and there we go. So here I'm going to add classmates. Let us save this and try this. Refresh it one more time. So probably we need, don't need to write anything because it will add another classmates URL after the classmates. So if nothing worked, you can just set hashtag in, in there and it will be fine. So let us try this and now it's fine. Once you write nothing inside of it, uh, it will reference to this uh, classmates app. So, okay, there we go. We have it right here. Once I add classmates, we go to here. We can add another nav bar in order to be redirect to our main page classmates. So, there we go. So now let's get back to our styles. So let me explain the rest. So here we, we wanted to add a nav bar. So we added the class top nav which we have explained, uh, I'm going to explain in, in our styles, but here we have unordered list and the list items tags, which is related to our nav bar. So if I want to add, for example, another reference about, uh, for example, contact with us in our nav bar on the top, for example, here I want to add another item. I can uh, write contact us and then I can add another item, li tag, and write exactly the same things with the difference that writes uh, contacts and then another HTML file related to that item. Okay, so uh, that's that's how we write the HTML code related to a nav bar. And then in the styles, we will address top nav and here we will just uh, work on the li tags so as you can see ul.topnav and then we have added some styles related to the list margin padding overflow and then background color right you can change the background color too and then we have the uh, other related um, styles such as list item and this is for the reference a tag and then uh, let me show you the a tag inside of our li tags right over here. As you can see, we have a tags as well because we want to reference the uh, addresses, for example, our home and our add classmates. So we've added the URL of adding the classmate, add URL, which was inside of our urls.py in our application. So I think it was here, yes. It is add and it is related to adding the new members. So we've added the name of this reference right over here. We can also write uh, two curly brackets and write the name of the uh, write the name of the um, link. So we don't necessarily have to write the link or the URL itself. So let's get back to where we were. It was inside of the index. At HTML and then we have other styles related to the navbar so nothing really fancy if you are familiar with CSS so we have we need to align the text in the center inside of our uh, list items so as you can see right here if we have a navbar that mm, any any kind of writing there is it is in the center not right not left but in the center it's also true about our tables once I get to there. So text align equals to center is always there for us to set it to the center. 
and we we have all of these different other styles related to top nav so you can easily add them over here and have your nav bar we also have for tables we have table tag right and then we've added some styles for the table for the th and td tags we have aligned to the center and also we have the pixels for the paddings we also have other ones for th and tr tags with the background color the text align and then from here on it's about the nav bar so there's nothing fancy about css you just need to find the codes related to uh, those exact parts and add to your html code or write it inside of uh, a different file call it .css, style.css and reference it here and uh, as you can see it's very easy to work with so here I'm going to do the same thing what we did about the navbar right inside of our add classmates page so that uh, if we don't want to add any classmates we will be redirected to our classmates page which shows us the table right so let me go to add.html and here we are going to copy and paste some of our codes from index.html so now let us copy these two set of lines here for the beginning also head and style and let us copy all of them together and then we will remove the tables right so up to the style and head over here i'm going to copy all that is related to the style and paste it inside of our add.html and then i'm going to remove the ones related to our tables however if you put them over here um, nothing really changes and there will be no problem right so but uh, i'm going to preferably remove them so i'm also going to keep the h1 tag because i'm gonna need it so because we have h1 tag over here we want to set in the center and so let us also add our html codes related to the list copy and paste it inside of our add.html and there's a little bit difference between this one and the, and the ones in the index.html and that is class active so inside of our home we wanted to activate the home in the navbar which was green but now we want to act set the uh, add here add classmate here active instead of uh, home because we are in the page related to that part right so let me copy and paste it over here so this is activated and as a result this shouldn't be activated okay so everything is set and okay so let's save the code and here refresh the page and as you can see here this one is activated but this one is not activated right so if I click on this one on the home, so we need to we need to find a way in order to somehow be redirected to our classmates page. So I should find a way for that. Now we can instead of that I can write. Uh, let's get back to index that uh, URLs up high. And here we had the name index right. So instead of writing the URL we can write the name of the URL so um, let's get back to add here and right over here I can write the double curly brackets and then here I can write index just as it is so also URL is needed here so percent 
URL and then I should write apostrophes over index. So I guess this is uh, the right code, but we'll let's check. Let's see if there's any problem with this syntax here. And let us refresh the page. So yes, there is a syntax error. So probably I need to fix this one. And yes, this is for the URL. So here we need another percent right over here at the end. There we go. And this should be fine. Let us try. So we have one person over here, the other right over here. And this should work, I think. So let me save this code and refresh the page. Still, there is a problem. So now another thing that needs to change is to uh, remove one of the curly brackets. So we don't need two curly brackets. One is enough. And now this should be fine. Let us try. So now everything worked well and let's get back to home. As you can see, it worked. And so we can easily switch between the add classmates and home. We can also set some styles for uh, this form. We can set them to the center right over here and make it even more beautiful. So um, let's work on that. So now I've added some changes to this form. Um, add.html code. So as you can see, we had these styles right here for the nav bar, but I've added some new um, styles here related to inputs. So as you can see, we have the inputs and we have all of these uh, styles related to that. We have input for text and input for submit. And also we have the input submit for hover. So once we uh, go to the button, the button will have a color and then it will have a, some, some kind of effect. Also, I've put a, a container right over here uh, so that it has a color. And so I'm going to refer to this in our HTML code with uh, a div tag. So we have a div tag and then the class called con container. So I've added the class in the CSS2 and also close the tag. And as you can see here, I've changed the input uh, type to text. It there was nothing here, but I've written the type text in order to be able to get the effect that we have. Also here, the type submit was over here. So I didn't need to add it. We, have, we need to add type equals to text for this input too one for first name and the other for the last name. And there we go. So we added the class container for the HTML code, type text, and also the styles in, in our three or four styles for our form. One, two, three, and four. Three for the inputs and one for the class container. Right, so let's save the code and here you will be able to see this form right over here. As you can see, it's a very beautiful form and much better than that HTML-like uh, form. So let's get back to our home. As you can see, we, we have all of these tables and beautiful styles. Let's get back to our add classmates and add a new name, right? For example, let's add Jane or let's add another name, which is different, Mike and Brown, for example, Mike Brown, and save this. And as you can see, we have added another name. So imagine we want to delete Brad, right? Brad Thompson. And imagine that we want to fix Mike. So I need to also uh, modify this update the classmate page as well. So I want to change this to Michael and update it. 
as you can see it's been updated so everything works very well so for practice you can uh, set the add classmates styles exactly these styles to um, to our update so for example you want to update Mariana to Mary right so you want to change the styles right here in order to make it more beautiful for practice you can change this size related to this page and up to now let's uh, pause the video and you can uh, work on the CSS and after you uh, resume the video I will be able I will show you how you can do this so now I assume that you've done it so also let me change this to Mary Mary and updated for example okay now let's go to do what you've practiced and see if you've done it well and if you had any problems you can refer to this part so I'm going to copy all of these styles from this page whatever there is inside of our styles copy and paste it inside of our updates.html right over here and on the top before h1 tag so let's paste it over here and go to the top there we go and then we need to add also whatever that was related to the nav bar so we had some list right so let me just find a list Okay, there we go it's right over here so let me copy this part and also we need to add this div over here inside of our update.html okay and so there we go also in, in our form we need to add our div class equals container and then close the div tag so I guess that's it also we need to add type equals text for input for the first name and the last name And the type is text, also text for here. So I guess that's it. Let's try this part and see if there is any problem. So here, let's get back to our update. And as you can see, our update is been, has been changed. So here you can again make it Mariana update it everything very well also if you want to update this one and then you quickly understand that you don't need to do this you can head over to the table right you can cancel this or you can go to your updates and remember that you don't need to update it you need to add a new classmate right so here is a problem and probably we need to fix something in our code so I know what the problem is and okay let us debug our code here we can write our URL this way which is much better than write it in the URL type like this right so because it will uh, directly redirect us to the page that we want so imagine that we want to get to uh, the add classmate right so here I can easily write add and we won't have any problem anymore also we can do this inside of our index.html so let us do both for, for the both ones and also for here URL add and so I can just copy it over here 
So the names of these URLs will help you uh, not to mix up everything because once you write the URLs like this in the uh, DTL type it will be much easier and better to manage than the URLs that you write because imagine that you are in a kind of a different kind of a URL and you want to be redirected to a very different kind of URL right and then you won't you will be somehow uh, confused but this way you will be able to find the exact URL with the kind of name that you have defined inside of your URLs.py. So here I, I should write add and I think I guess that's right one. So let me check. Here we had the add. Okay, it's all right. So we have saved all of our templates. Now let's retry. So here if I go to add I need to refresh too. Okay, now let's go to update and then go to add. As you can see, we've uh, changed it to add. Also here we need to, for the update, we need to deactive the add classmate because we are not in the add classmates, we are in the update the classmates, right? And we don't need any update classmates right here on the above because uh, we don't know for which student we're going to update the classmates. So here we just need to remove inside of our updates.html. We need to remove the class active for the add classmate. Okay, let's save this and refresh the page. As you can see, none of these are active anymore in this page, but once you are in the add classmate, this one is active. Once you go to home, home is active and again try so now everything has been fixed and we have a complete application for adding the classmates you can add as many classmates as you want you can see them here in the table and you can update or delete each of the classmates and this is a complete application and the very first crowd application that you've learned how to work with how to create the back end and the front end and if you have followed along with the tutorials up to here congratulations and so in the next tutorials we're also going to teach you how you can complete your complete website uh, such as uh, adding login and adding registration how to create a restful api how to write the back end so that another front end can come along and develop the react application or Vue.js application and uh, you just work on the back end so hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and that's it